Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We are back up. Hey guys, praise the Lord. Kathy here. Um, just a, um, I'm hoping this one will be brief. I try really hard to make them brief, but we've got so much going on. Um, this one is basically just going to be some, some really powerful messages. Uh, we're here guys. The countdown's pretty much up and, um, <clears throat> the messages are showing so. So I'm just going to jump right in. So 444 Prophecy, the bell has tolled. The tolling bell. Prophetic message I received for America in the early morning hours of October 7th. America, repent. The bell has tolled. Wake up. Come back to me. This is the Lord that has just spoken to you. A little later, I heard, the fire is inside of you, which I took to mean the Holy Spirit inside of me. God bless you all and pray for America. Scripture she received was Amos 4, 6 through 13. I wish I had time to read it all, but I just don't. I'm just going to read the quick messages, heavy messages. Okay, so there's the first. You ready for this one? Are you ready? for the fiery kickoff event. You guys ready? New York, your time has come. War drums beating. Okay, I heard the Lord say, I see the war drums beating and the grass melt. It comes and I can do nothing because you turned away from me. Oh, how it breaks my heart to see. New York, your time has come, and now it has begun. Repent and turn to God. Wow. Can you say wow? Oh, my gosh. All right, and here's all the scriptures. So to please read the scriptures. I, I wish I had time to read them all. I just don't. Um, now, um, Something just grabbed, just jumped at me, and I haven't even mentioned this to the team, and it just jumped at me. Okay. Yeah. Lyrics. This literally just popped in my head, you guys. <clears throat> so, this word says, and the grass melts. And the grass melts. All right. So this, you know, it always seems to come back to American pie. Okay, here we go. Um, there it is. Okay, helter skelter in a summer swelter. The birds flew off with a fallout shelter. Eight miles high and falling fast. It landed foul on the what? The grass. The players tried for a forward pass with a gesture on the sidelines and a cast. Now, we, last year, last, spring of 2019, Andrew and me and um, Lee, who was on the team at the time, uh, my spiritual son, and some another sister who was on the team, and uh, we just kind of would go through these lyrics over and over and over. Eight miles high and falling fast. We always said, you know, that sounds like a nuclear bomb. Maybe even um, like a one that goes, one that could be like satellite shit. How high? I wonder how high a bomb goes. Because let's see, eight miles high. Eight miles high, isn't that into space? How many miles is it to space? I don't know. Let's see, let's see. How many miles into 
to space. How many miles does it take to reach space? Okay, plenty of time. Absolutely. Okay, approximately 62 miles. All right, and that's, you know, that's NASA, whatever. Anyway, that's, at least it gives me an idea. So eight miles is not that far, not that far. Okay, so it would make perfect sense, don't you think, that this would mean, where is it? The nuclear bomb is falling fast, eight miles high and falling fast, lands foul on the grass. So if it landed foul on the grass, and I always wondered what the foul part meant, probably foul because it's an attack. It landed foul on the grass. So let's go back and see. I see the war drums, <clears throat> nuclear bomb, beating and the grass melt. Don't you think that's a little interesting? Eight miles high and falling fast, it landed foul on the grass. Now the, the next part, <clears throat> the players tried for a forward pass with the gesture on the sidelines in a cast. All right, so now Jester Satan and cast of his loser and enemy demons plus all the people on the earth he owns, okay? So we're talking about uh, fall right about now because it's football season, right? So it's saying, so Helter Skelter and his summer smudge, so okay, so this is um, the summer before. Birds flew off with a, with a fallout shelter, so that could mean um, the safety is gone because fallout shelter is where you get safety, right? No more safety. So summers, yeah, we were in the summer. Safety was taken away because war has begun to get planned. Now, eight miles high, new comes eight miles high, fallen fast, lands foul on the grass. They use the word foul. They talk about making a forward pass because it's fall. It is now this time with Satan on the sidelines with his cast in a cast. Get it? Like as in you're in the cast of a play in a cast. Now the halftime air was sweet perfume. <clears throat> While the sergeants played a marching tune, we all got up to dance, but we never got the chance. Because the players tried to take the field. The marching band refused, refused to yield. <clears throat> Do you recall what was revealed the day America died. Very interesting, don't you think? I'll leave that to you to kind of chew on a little bit and see if the Lord shows you anything more. But I thought that literally just jumped out me out at me just now as I was reading this. And we've been talking to kind of we were read the message a couple times tonight already and this did not jump in my head until just now. So let's see how that works out. Very interesting. Okay. Um, now I gotta say, uh, God's Healer 7 has never done a dream like this. She's never had a word like this. A strange phenomena will be seen worldwide. Many nations destabilized. Very interesting. <clears throat> I'm not going to read the whole thing or play it. It's kind of short. So if you guys want to go listen to her, you can, but it's, it, I've never seen her mention this, you know, maybe in in the middle of another message or something. But this is interesting because it's going along with everything we've been seeing, all the stuff the Lord's been reminding us of that uh, Minister Paul saw. Remember the uh, event horizon, the red in the sky that everybody's going to see. We've been talking about um, the time shift. Excuse me. So that would be a strange phenomena. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Very interesting. We got pretty much anything can happen now. This is the end of uh, Tabernacles tonight, by the way. So anything is <laughs> anything is up from now on, especially in the next few days. Let's keep your keep our eyes out. 
Okay, this was excellent. Um, 15 minutes. Uh, what, how am I? 10 in now. 15 would take me to 25. Um, it's a little bit long. So if you want to check this out, it's excellent. Dream of Earthquake, <clears throat> Meteor Shower, Space Wars, Open the Graves. Um, I'm not sure if Holly Two Moons understands First Fruits, but there, you know, just because you don't get first fruits doesn't mean you're not having dreams and visions, you know. So this is a really heavy one and it goes along with a lot of stuff. So she had also said, I saw on her community page that she had said, um, uh, what did she say? She saw, oh, she said the earthquakes. Um, oh gosh, now I'm blank. I can't remember what she said. But anyway, some about her uh, confirmation about the earthquakes. But I, I want to do a little disclaimer. I have not checked out her channel. I do not know what she believes. I don't know where her old videos say. We just, Dan saw this and I remember running by it and said, all right, so if Dan grabs it, then it's something we need to check out just because we need to see the dreams. <clears throat> so we are not recommending her channel at this point because we do not know anything about her background, okay? But this particular video is got some great dreams in it. Okay, that confirm a lot of stuff. Okay, so this one. So I have to roll up. Okay, so we got um, the Lord will be shaking his half sleeping church. We all know that. I really think the earthquakes are about to go, guys. So another dream. He's waking up the hat, the sleeping church, and they're believe me, they're gonna be wide awake, especially when they see a whole bunch of transfigured followers of Jesus Christ walk in the earth in bubbles outside of time within time. I think it's going to wake them up. I think the shaking is going to wake them up, the earthquakes, and pretty much everything else that's going to go down. The, you know, the, uh, the um, asteroid that's going to fall in the ocean and cause a tsunami on both coasts and they're all going to fall in the water. Yeah, I'd say that's going to kind of wake them up, you know. So pretty crazy. Okay, moving on. Um, Adar shared a video. She just re-recorded. I would say uh, this one is the one you want to see. You need to hear this. Prophetic dreams regarding Halloween and ending ASAP end of the 40-day warning. Um, there's probably, I want to say, eight or nine people who are seeing Halloween. I didn't see any of these until this week. I didn't even know people were seeing Halloween. I've been hearing, you know, this weekend, I've been hearing this weekend because it's the end of Tabernacles, but I didn't hear any of these. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, there's a lot of them. So um, I would say check this out. It's really great. Um, so I'm going to put this in the description box. So just go there and you'll see. Okay. Now for somebody who goes to Adar's channel and look it up, she actually, the person who made this video, she's mirroring it right here. Okay. But she cuts off the end. I believe that's for a reason because <laughs> we listened to the link that she had posted in. She had made two videos with the same thing. One had the link for, to the other channel and one had the mirrored one like she did here. Please, uh, oh, sorry, you're young. Um, the one that she put this, just the link on, uh, we do not recommend that one because the end sounded a little, the guy who made this video Sounded just like he didn't, he doesn't understand a lot of this stuff and he's a little bit off on some of the things he thinks. Um, so I don't recommend going to the link. I think she, she does post it here, dream compilation. I, we don't suggest that because it was just going to confuse it. There's some weird stuff he says at the end, but all of these dreams and visions were pretty straight up. Although one of them was a little interesting. There was a girl sitting on a chair, I think, who had long hair and glasses who, who I don't, I'm hoping it was just a misspeak, but she said, um, and I told, I told, uh, the, what, how does she say it? Instead of, uh, I rebuke you, she said, I repent you. <laughs> I hope she was misspeaking. I'm assuming she did, but just so you know, she, I, you know, you're going to hear her say that it's a little weird, but I think it was just a misspeak. Okay. So I say, check that one out. Really good. Now this one, this one you will find very interesting. I'd like you to check something out. Take a look at this. 
This is from uh, late this afternoon, Mr. MB333. Check this out. This is Antarctica and it's all melting. So stuff is beginning to show up, guys. What is that? Oh, is that a disc? Is that a disc? I find that very interesting, don't you? So I think we're going to be getting some Nephilim popping up. I think we're going to get a fake alien invasion. That's kind of what this is pointing to. Uh, I'm just saying, check it out. Um, I think we got a better uh, close-up up here. He goes, okay, there you go. There's a little closer. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it raises up here, okay? This could just be a hatch that they go into, but... It also kind of looks like this would be the eye, this is an eye, this is a nose, this is a mouth. Could be a face. It Unfortunately, you can't go any closer or it distorts it too much, so you can't really tell. But I think it's interesting. It's most definitely a disc. And it's a 60-foot disc because he figured out how, how long it is. 60 feet? That's a big disc. I mean, I figure out how long 60 feet is, guys. That's pretty big. Um, so let's, uh, I'll skip, a, we'll skip around so you can kind of peek at it. Now this, you can see this face thing a little bit better, but it could just be the hatch. I, you know, you, you just can't make it out perfectly, but. Um, so let me skip and see the different colors. You can see it here. It actually, it looks like a more like a skull here. But anyway, it, I don't know. You, we can't say 100% sure because you can't, you know, it's just too distorted. But, it, you know, could it could be a face on there. It could be a hatch. We don't know. Okay, there's white. Yeah, you can still see the two eyes and the mouth. Interesting. Now, yeah, you know, here. But this looks kind of just like a stone... It, it actually looks to me like it's a la like it landed on a plat some kind of higher part of a platform in stone. It's interesting. Anyway, um, so I'll skim it a little bit so you can see the pictures a little better. I just think it was way too big for this not for me not to share it with you guys. This is crazy. So a UFO disc, whatever you want to call it, is uh, hanging out in Antarctica. To me, this kind of looks like it's hiding. Like it looks like this goes under like a ledge or something. But I don't know. I mean, how else would it go? It has to be hiding under a ledge. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how this plays out, see if we, they find anything else. You know, I'm, I'm wondering myself if I can get Google Earth. Um, oh, by the way... Look at the degrees, guys. Isn't it interesting that it's at 66 degrees? Don't you find that interesting? And there's even another six in there? Yeah, quite interesting. And two plus four is six. So we got six, six, one, six, six. Interesting. Um, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Interesting, just interesting. Um, and there okay and so you can check it out i'll put the link in the description the earth will shake and the sun will beat down um I don't have time to read it all again, but if you guys want to check it all out, I'll put the link in description. I'm actually, I think I'm just going to put the link to 444 Prophecy in description and you guys can pick whatever ones you want to check out, okay? So now the key, this one is really interesting. Excellent video. So how many times have we now talked about Trump, Janice, the key, the key master, the key master, the gatekeeper, um, and, um, the key to the bottomless pit. So this now just says the key. So it takes you through some very interesting, again, interesting facts. Um, so if you want to check this out, it's uh, a little bit long, a little too, I just, we're I'm making it short tonight cause it's so late. 
But I suggest you listen to this entire thing because it shows a lot of stuff from um, uh, Back to the Future and uh, that same one with the that weird movie with the white rabbit that's all demonic and freaky looking. But um, anyway, Trump with the 88. It, there's a lot of interesting things in there. So I would say check that video out. We definitely recommend it. And we had, did look up that weird movie with the guy with the with the white rabbit that's demonic. We looked up the numbers that were on his arm. He wrote these numbers on his arm. And it's, it's supposed to be a time. And the countdown from which uh, Tangent says October 2nd, 1988. Uh, and when the world is going to end, that is when the world ends. So who knows? Um, but also I can say we did put this in. Susan was thinking this could be coordinates. So we looked those up and ended up kind of in central northern uh, Saudi Arabia. We found that to be, again, interesting. <laughs> Fascinating. I don't want to use that word. <laughs> anyway. Cool stuff. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. If anybody, you know, figures any other way to get any um, more details on that, let us know, okay? Uh, then we've got Chinese military de demands the U.S. stop provocative, provocative actions and restrict naval operations in the South China Sea after USS John McCain enters waters in disputed areas without permission. You guys, everybody is ready for war. They are ready to go. China's going to destroy everything it sees. Can, you, can I tell you? They have more people. Do you know how many people they have in their army? You don't even know. I, it, it's, they have so many people. They could, you could, they could come towards you. P Our army could kill like every single row of soldiers for like the first, I don't know, three days. And they would keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. There's that many people. There's millions of soldiers in their army. So it, they're, it's, they're unstoppable. It's unbelievable. Now, I say unstoppable and natural, but God stops anything he wants. Well, he, he, God only allows what God wants to allow, you know. And let me tell you, he's going to allow a lot of crazy stuff, guys, because he's judging the earth. Especially America, Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots. Um, okay, so President Plans Event. Yeah, we found this to be very interesting. So um, we had looked up um, some stuff about, in this video here, in the key video, it talks about the tower card. I wonder if I can even pull it up. I don't know if, they're, if it's going to show up on here. But the Illuminati Tower card shows up in this thing. Maybe it's at the beginning. It's the other video. The other one? Okay. All right. Forget it. So anyway, the, there's a, a Tower card in the Illuminati deck. And it's uh, a very... <clears throat> Hold on one sec. <clears throat> okay. Very reminiscent of... Trump Tower, and the fiery kickoff event. A lightning bolt hits the top of the tower. Who knows? Could could represent Satan sending in his garbage and the the bomb with Trump Tower, which has been said they were going to do. Uh, Jeff Byerly saw that. Remember, they're gonna there's going to be something at Trump Tower, and the powers that be want him out now. I, I say that. Please understand the words I say. He's playing good cop right now. He's one of their buddies. Please don't think that it's real. This is a game. They're playing bad, good cop, bad cop, and he's trying to play good cop. So everybody thinks he's a good guy, and that couldn't be further from the truth. But anyway, um, and if everybody would remember, there's also a judgment card in the Illuminati deck. And guess who is sitting on top of the world with it? Yeah, Trump. So he is the one that's going to deal with the judgment. But there's a lot of stuff. It's, it's interesting. So there's a lot of puzzle pieces in this video. So you want to check it out. Um, <clears throat> oh, and the reason, the reason I had this up is because... Um, there was the video we were watching was talking about Trump. Um, 
with Trump Tower. And Susan's like, well, gosh, I wonder if he's going to have some kind of event there. And this is all he's already planning an event at the White House leading up to the election. So maybe he has a little soiree up in his little uh, penthouse at, at Trump Tower or even in the building somewhere. So, you know, we're going to see how this plays out because we already got this message, guys. New York, your time has come. So let's see how it all unfolds. It's going to be happening any time. Okay, and then uh, defense to outfit and steer military dogs with augmented reality goggles. I'm like, what? So this is some weird stuff here, guys. Very weird. They're messing with the animals now. This is what they were. That's why it says in the days of Noah, changing the DNA of everything. I'm telling you, God's judgment is coming. So we're going to keep an eye on this. I thought that was weird. Augmented reality goggles for a dog. We're going we're gonna to keep looking into that. Um, and I just wanted to pull this up because we got some weird stuff. Now look at this. Trump, fifth level of, fifth level of Satanism rally set for the White House. Very interesting, don't you think? Yeah, so a nice little event to celebrate Satanism, the losers. And uh, although everybody thinks, of course, that it's a Christian thing. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, anyway, so, uh, oh, and look at him. So, uh, you know, Pelosi's trying to get him, get it. He's t Pelosi's telling everybody he's in an altered state from the medication. And he says, I'm off the meds. Okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> So I guess that's it for tonight, about a half an hour. That was good. And I am ready for bed. So love you guys. God bless you. Um, if anybody's got, and you guys, we, we would love to hear from you guys. If, if you guys get news stories or videos or anything, pop them over, especially right now, because there, we are so close. We can touch it. So we're looking, we're, this is why we're doing this every night. I want to make sure we're covering all of it because I want you guys, I want everybody to see that this is it. For real. We're really here. Anyway, email is graftedinteamjesus222 at gmail.com. All right. Love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll be back as the Lord leads. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye.